Hello, this is my video part two where I'm going to show you how to use Terra Recon to make um, cow reconstructions from CT angiograms of the head. So the first thing you do is you go to the patient list and you double click the one that has a bunch of pictures, the thin cuts, and it opens up into four on one and then you open it up into a one on one using the 3D, the one on one. Okay, so then you, um, then you have to set the window to show the cartilage. So if you use the template, the window template, which uh, if you go to under viewer and then under template and then you um, toggle down, scroll down till you see the cow. Pick the cow that's on white. Don't pick the cow that has the black in the background. Pick the cow that has white and then double click that and then they'll show you all the uh, cartilage and stuff that you need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the 3D cow with the bone on and then we'll make the other ones out of that. So we'll start with 3D cow with bone. So go to the left lateral view the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the head. So you have to go over to here where it says free ROI tool. Click that and then uh, we're going to do some cuts. We're going to cut the top of the head. So notice how if you go over here there's an arrow and then hold the left or hold the shift button down. When you hold the shift it turns to a little dot. We're going to cut off the top of the head. So rather than go over the head, go over top of the head and you get this kind of an arc. Go all over the top of the head and then you're going to get a, see how it makes a straight edge? Then bring the straight edge down about halfway down the head, about like that. Then let it go and it cuts off the top of the head. So that's how you cut the top of the head. Now we're going to cut off the back of the head, which we'll do from the head view. So go over here, it says H, click the H, and now we have a head view. Now try to see where the vertebral arteries come out of the bones back there. So we're going to cut everything from there back. So take your arrow and go basically straight over with your mind's eye and then left shift so that it turns into a little dot and then go back first and cut everything off and bring it right up to the back edge of the vertebral arteries, right where those verts come out of the bone and cut it to there. Now we're going to scoop out the veins, do the gut cut. So um, be sure that you're on rotate and then go up here to the uh, left click and pull it back. Line it up so you can see those veins in between the posterior cerebral arteries and then scoop out the veins between the posterior cerebral arteries. Okay, so now you should be ready to make the, um, the films to make a series. So let's go to the head view to start for this. We'll do head view and then let's zoom it up. Click the magnifying um, tool, move it, zoom it up until it fills the whole screen. And for these 3D batch, we're going to make a 3D batch. That's 3D. They actually make it, a, they actually shrink it a little bit. So we'll kind of uh, zoom it really big, as big as you can uh, get it. All right, now the window is pretty good just using that cow um, template window, but uh, we'll try to tweak it. You know, you want to look at this middle cerebral artery and make it have a nice shiny white, but nice and clear and smooth and just tweak the window to make it as, um, as clear as possible. Okay, this, that looks pretty good. All right, now what we're going to do is make a 3D batch. So you might have the 3D batch uh, here or you might, in my case, you have to click these two little arrows and open up the supplemental um, menu and then here where it says batch 3D tool. That's what you want. Batch 3D tool. See it looks like a little movie film there. Not like the batch one. It's a little bit different. Batch 3D. So click that and you're going to get this little panel. Now what we want to do is capture some images and be sure that it's set on eight steps to the next frame. See right here it's eight. That's going to put a lot of nice pictures in between our captures to get a good get a good movie. So first we're going to capture. You can capture it by right clicking, by hitting it. the um, camera button or by just by hitting C. We'll right click for the first one. Say capture. So capture a straight head. Now we're going to view, we're going to tilt it a little bit to the left and steep to the left a little bit to the right. So first we'll start with the left. So tilt, um, be sure you're on the tilt tool. Then tilt it down just a little bit to the left, kind of looking at those left middle cerebral branches, lay them out a little bit and then capture that. And then go steeper to the left, capture that. Then go a little bit to the right, kind of a shallow right capture, and then a steeper right capture, then back to the middle, and now we're going to tilt to the front. <clears throat> so tilt to the front shallow, and then tilt to the front steep, and you might have to angle a little bit. Try to lay out the um, these anterior cerebral arteries, try to make them look distinct. Capture. Now we're going to look at the back. So first, so right click and kind of bring it up so we can see the back better. And we're going to get some views of the vertebral arteries and basilar. A lot of times you have to change the window because one of the verts will be small. So let's just tweak the window a little bit to emphasize that, that vert so we can see it. Now it's going to throw a little bit of 
smudge over the images up there, but we're looking at the top. So let's so let's get one of the vert here, capture, and then two of it, maybe rotate it, some a little bit left or right, just to lay those verts out as best possible, and capture. And then at the very end, go back to the circle of Willis, and uh, and just get it just to lay out really as best you can, and then uh, zoom it up real tight, and so it's real big, and capture that one. That'll be the last picture. All right, then we're going to go ahead and um, click output and send that. Be sure over here it's, it's sent to save to the patient list. We'll click output, and it'll go to the patient list. Now we're um, going to uh, use these this data set, and we're going to go make our next thing, which will be the um, uh, the. 3D cow minus bone. So let's go to a left view and shrink it down a little bit. And now we're going to um, we're going to use this bone removal thing. So if we click this bone removal tool to take the bone off, it it, it is going to bring up this extra little uh, window that says, "Do you want to run the automatic bone removal?" We don't want to run automatic body bone. This will mess it up because it's not body. This is head and neck. So say no, but then that gives you this extra little tab here. Remove body bone, no. So use this arrow and go down to remove head and neck bone. That's a little trick you have to do. Now to make it happen, you have to actually click this thing, but be sure it says remove head and neck bone. When we click it, then the head and neck bone is gonna get, uh, get, get removed off of here. And that's gonna throw some stuff back on, which we have to cut out also. Okay, good. So now we're gonna use this left view and we're gonna do our cuts. Now it comes up and has these trees labeled if we don't need, so right click on those and delete all trees. Okay, now we're gonna make similar cuts. Let's make it a little bit smaller here. Okay, let's put it on our cow window, which I think it still is, but let's double click the cow. So, okay, now we're gonna make our cuts. So we're gonna cut the top off, but here we can actually see the middle tree broader branches, which will help. So we have to be sure we're on this free ROI tool. So we're gonna to cut to about the top of these MCA branches. So we'll go out here, left shift, Hold it down to get the dot and then go over top of the head, cut it down to the top of the MCAs and then let it go and you'll get, uh, you'll get the top cut. And then we need to cut out the face on here. So we'll go ahead and cut out all the stuff, the face come close to those carotid arteries, not too close, and cut out all the face. Now if there were some neck on here from your data set, you could cut from the skull base down too. And that, so that's good from this view. Now we're going to go to the head view and do the rest of the cut. So we'll go to head view here, and let's do our little gut cut first by tilting it back a little and taking these veins out from between these posterior cerebral arteries. We can't leave these veins in here. So we'll left shift, and then we'll just come in between the posterior cerebral arteries, cut those veins out very carefully. Just do a little, um, a little scoop there. Okay, now we'll go back to the straight head view, and we'll do our Batman cut where we get all the, all the stuff around the outside. So we'll. Uh, Left shift, come down on the, around the anterior cerebral arteries, and come around the middle cerebral arteries, and come in here, get some of this out, and leave the posterior cerebral arteries, come and get some of this stuff, and then leave the middle cerebral arteries, and then come out peripherally here, and then come up here and get the anterior cerebral arteries, like that. See, it kind of looks like Batman, or like a bird, or like an airplane. And then you go all the way out around the outside, scoop all this other stuff out here before you let go and get it up. Now, when you let go, all that stuff's gonna disappear. The Batman cut. Okay, now you usually have to tilt a little one way and the other to get us some of these sigmoid sinuses and stuff out of there. So tilt a little to the left. Don't spend too much time doing these cuts. You don't have to go crazy. So just kind of scoop that and then, uh, then tilt it a little to the right and scoop out some of those vessels. Just circle them, get rid of them. Okay, so that's enough cutting. All right, so now, we're going to uh, film out this 3D cow. So first you just go to the, um, we're going to start with the anterior view. These are all going to start from the anterior view. And we're going to zoom it up nice and big. We're going to make fill almost the whole frame with it. And then we're going to um, hit the, uh, wait a minute, I'm about to run out of time. So I'm going to stop this movie and then we're going to go to another movie for the rest.